Shalom, everyone. I hope that you're doing fantastic today. Today is the 10th of December, 2020. Happy birthday if it's your birthday and happy anniversary if it's an anniversary for you and your love. Welcome back if you're returning and those of you who are brand new. I'm just spiritual. I'm not like any other reader. Uh, I use homemade decks and the runes and the tarot and I use the living language and scripture on my channel. Uh, I am connecting with Jehovah Elohim, maker of heaven and earth, and um, he is our Yeshua. He's my prophecy on my channel, and he's magnificent here, and I love him, and I'm not ashamed of him, and he gets all praise, glory, and honor, but I'm not churchy, and I'm not religious, okay? So anyway, if you stay, you stay. If you don't, then this is where you'll click off. Thanks for checking me out for a second. Let's get started, guys. So I'm going to do a couple of rows here, and... See what Jehovah wants to bring out for us. Uh, we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Somebody's in their mind. I'm going to put these back in the deck, but somebody's in their mind. Um, you know, lonely, being single. Um, somebody's just like being controlled by the heavens. If you look at this Eight of Swords, somebody's like a little puppet to the principalities and the powers of the air. Are con people letting them control their thoughts and it's keeping them incarcerated or somebody's done something because they've allowed uh, the controlling from uh, the heavens the heavenly realm where our war is and didn't cast down those mind the the mind and now they're in a fix and some people are dealing with jail situations I guess but obviously somebody's in their mind here and um there's other people that even if they're lonely, they're holding flowers in their hands regardless and they're still waiting and being a watchman on the wall like we're told to do. So anyway, I send you love and light. You're going to have to get out of that kind of stuff. You really are. You're going to have to stand up in truth and face it and allow the divine to come cut those, those little um, strings there that were affecting the thoughts in the mind space. Jehovah, show me three cards for the top row, three cards for the middle, and then three outcome cards. Thank you. So we have the King of Cups. We have the Three of Wands, manifesting ideas. The King of Cups is somebody who is very much intelligent. Um, okay, thank you. We have the Jezebel spirit <laughs> coming out here. This is a defeat. Somebody's trying to defeat something. We have the will. It goes either way. We also have the um, page of pentacles. Or excuse me, this is the knight of pentacles. We have the uh, page of cups. Getting people out here. We have the ten of cups. We have the Seven of Cups, a lot of cups out here, a lot of watery type of stuff coming out here. One more, please. There's a consequence here. There's love here. There's the truth and there's law showing up. And there's somebody who's trying to freaking control everything. This uh, King of Cups is also can be a control freak in the negative okay he's it's, it's got a crab coming out of the cup so apparently you know cancer's holding this card in this deck but you know we got water we have pisces cancer scorpio we have sagittarius the sun's there right now so it really doesn't matter we have capricorn taurus and virgo uh show it up here in this reading gemini libra aquarius um i guess aries was sagittarius uh but you know, the crab can be crabby. The crab is, it, it goes within. It's controlling from that space, right? But somebody is, uh, if you're in the upright and somebody else has been locking you up within something here within your fight, and that's what's showing here. That the three of wands is to having to have virtue here while you're trading your, your, your thoughts and your mind and um or with other people if there's third party i guess there's third party we have three literal um court cards showing out here and somebody's feeling defeated in their mind or if nothing else you want to look at this as, as uh your polaric balance 
your masculine and feminine polaric balance and some somebody's got too much of something here if that's not another person but we do have three people here uh and the three of wands could represent that or this is family or something or it's just you and you your masculine needs to stand up against the this witchy side of something here if that's what that is this, this is a defeat though okay and then we've got the truth and the husband and travel and the arm of the divine turning something in his divine timing we have a card here that talks about um loyalty and um actually i think the, okay i think i call that a page these are both knights in this deck here so we have the knight of cups the knight of pentacles this is about um the knight of, the knight of cups is a knight in shining armor right very creative creative energy, watery stuff here, emotions, and then we've got the slow and steady wins the race and loyalty and checking the details and going slow. And so we've got the hand turning on something with law. So we have two law cards where loyalty, I guess, is at question for some people. Okay, we do have the Ten of Cups down here, and that's, that's family stuff. That's emotional happiness and things like that and we do have the seven of cups card showing up here this is a consequence people um give me just a second here i wanted to actually look up in the book in this deck um just been felt compelled to do it i've, I've uh, not used this deck on the channel for quite some time and it states here that you know, obviously we know that the Seven of Cups is many options. Somebody got a lot of choices that they need to make. This is a confusion card. But this card in this deck talks about fantasies and illusions, okay, and behaviors and destructive emotional habits that somebody has. Well, this is, this is apparently somebody's got a Jezebel spirit on them, okay, or around them or something's up here because you always really been bringing this energy out there's a defeat here though on that because Jehovah already stated so in a reading that we did last night about Jezebel getting eaten by the dogs okay and so if we're talking about fantasies and stuff like that we literally had the dog prostitute energy come out this is a seduction card in the deck as well it can be because it goes back to the same energy here so we got fantasy going on and uh, unrealistic attempts to appease somebody's and you know there's depression showing up here with this card there's debauchery with this card here this is uh somebody this house goes back to in our chart somewhere everybody has all the stuff in their house uh, in their chart somewhere but this uh, card or house goes back to being moved by those emotions if it feels good to me that must be the right way to go. And that's a seducing spirit there. And it's controlled somebody. And uh, they've been standing here juggling about something, but they're holding on at the same time, trying to find their virtue within something. You know, uh, you can't be led forth by your feelings and your emotions or, you know, what, or trying to lead somebody else that way. Or uh, somebody's unrealistic here within this reading. Okay. And so, Somebody else been put out and needs compassion. If this is another person, if it's your wife or your husband down here, and you're trying to control uh, something or something's happened along the way and some type of truth has come out here and Jehovah allowed his hand to turn something and there's been a situation going on here. Somebody needs to get out of some type of uh, delusional debauchery energy. Uh, somebody's done something on a travel trip and has made somebody just, okay, well, I'm so freaking jealous now. Uh, somebody need help because their mind's just twisted here. Okay, there's, there's a depression showing up here and there's like emotional ha habits and, that are really destructive here with this energy. And somebody's in a lot of worry here um, and you cannot live your life that way. You've got to face the truth. Yes, this happened. What the, the crap has gone on has gone on. I wasn't faithful, but now I'm going to go slow and steady. I'm learning how to um, gain some virtue here. Uh, because if you don't, this is a consequence card. If you choose by way of your emotional destructive habits and your fantasies and your illusions, it's going to cost you. 
it's going to cost you because this is um, reaping and sowing here showing up so somebody's got a choice here to make because the, the will showing up here today to show that it's, it's going to turn inevitably inevitably so it's about um, commitments are here or an ending because tens can go back to endings as well um, the bottom of the deck yes is an ending a completion is here it's the world card and this is about using your wisdom this is older people as well this uh, could be speaking about a gift. I want to say that that word represents in the Hebrew a gift. Um, let's, let's take from this Hebraic deck and let me take cards on each side of this reading here. There's large sums of money and fortune showing up here in this reading. Okay? And somebody's got, I'm hearing somebody got gambling problems as well. That ain't going to be for everybody, but I just heard that in my spirit. And they've got behaviors within that that have been destructive. Uh, and it's been so expansive. And maybe they do that when they're on the road. I'm not sure. This is a traveling card as well. But there's a protection, though, here. There is law around situation if you're dealing with somebody who's uh, in debauchery and somebody's trying to appease somebody. And you just you can't. Somebody, somebody's that far gone in their mind that they're, they're, you can't appease somebody who's like that. They're not willing to look at the truth, and they're just going to lock somebody up, something wrong with that. They're, 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 they need to go to jail. You're always going to take care of that energy. Um, there's a lot going on here. Especially when there's wealth attached to some stuff, there's a lot of fortune showing out here. <clears throat> so we have somebody's empty on the inside yeah well there's a flowing away a wasteful type of energy as well this went back to um also a, a, a waistband that is also worn around um somebody it could go to an official or something that's just representing an official is here uh and there's some type of emptiness here well yeah if somebody is just like this <laughs> And they they go lock somebody up, and they're they, they where they go they travel they're only moved by their emotions and they've got real destructive uh, emotional habits and they're unrealistic with things and they've got to somebody got to pacify something or try to be a piece they're empty something's flowing away here something's very wasteful here uh, so the bully shall be bullied <laughs> could make it a few one two people this is a bully right here the bully shall be bullied now says Jehovah. Absolutely, and you reap what you sow. This is this is karmic activity going on. Don't you know? We also have um, so somebody's twisted something. Well, they're in debauchery down here, or somebody's making a decision around somebody like that. It could cost you if you don't choose correctly. Okay, uh, somebody is um, been twisting some kind of thought in their head. Well, there's fantasy down here there's a weaving going on here um th this would be somebody who wears real fine clothing as well because this word went back to apparel um some type of real fine garment is here and then we've got the um apparel up here that is worn around um, either your waist or something that's representing something about an official is here so there's somebody who does have money because we do have a lot of money showing up here and they bullied and now Jehovah said I'm fixing to bully you right back because there's a defeat here on somebody <laughs> you go act that way well, I'm gonna give you a taste of your own little medicine here is what Jehovah keeps saying so there's somebody been breathing out of anger well obviously it's showing it right there people uh, some, some type of um, displeased anger is here within somebody's face all right, this is also going back to um, talking about an unknown bird that's possibly uh, uh, connect. Maybe birds are connected to somebody's situation. Maybe you're a bird owner or you like birds or this is the United States of America. Uh, it's, it's whatever, the, we've got governmental things here. We've got officials here or somebody's feeling that way about our country. It could go so, it, I mean, we're talking wide scale. I guess we are for some people. Whatever's at the top is going to trickle down to the rest of the body. And if you ain't standing up in the truth, you will operate by the stupid group type energy. It will come upon you. Birds can also see from, you know, uh, real high perspectives. 
All right, so somebody's also been nosy within some. Actually, we had in my other reading today, we had a plucking. We had a bird being plucked or something like that. And actually, there is a um, prophecy that goes back to, I think it's three eagles in the Apocrypha. I'll have to go read that today. The ones that is bringing energies of birds out here. But somebody's been, you know, a bull would represent, uh, and I don't care what what your sign is. Everybody has all the stuff in their chart. But a bull totem type, of, uh, especially in scripture, represents really strong rebellion. It's a bully. Okay, it, that is an organization as well. And there, there's there's something here where somebody just cannot be appeased because they're just angry all the time. They're a control freaking freak. They're a freak at this point. And Jehovah's going to say, I'm going to give you a little taste of your little freaky medicine here, and I'm going to bully you right back because there's a defeat here on somebody. Okay, And so that person, if you've been trying to appease it, you need to step back. Jehovah, I just heard him say, you need to step back now because here I'm entering in now because the battle belongs to him anyway. You need to quit trying to appease somebody that could never be appeased. They're already seared there. Okay. Uh, they don't. They don't want to hear it. They're angry. They're breathing out of anger. They're displeased at something. They're just the word is snort. Okay, this bull is snorting here. Um, it says, "I will love Jehovah my strength. Jehovah is my rock and my strength. In whom will I trust? My buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon Jehovah who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. Yes." Whoever's trying to appease this person who's in debauchery, your only hope is to call out upon the divine because you're never going to appease that. You always say, get out of the way, here I come. I'm, I'm going to take care of that person. That person's getting out. We, we, we heard it all day yesterday uh, over or after the last few, few videos that I've done. Um, he's getting up now. So truth sets you free. Just face the truth, Okay. This person's angry because of the truth. They're, they're either mad at themselves, they've already crossed the line, they're so far in it, so deep, they're empty, they're just flowing away. There's a waste energy here. There's a, been a division here within something. For Jehovah Elohim is a sun and a shield, and Jehovah will give grace and glory, and no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Well, somebody hasn't. Somebody's got a choice today, people. There is a choice today that's going to be made, and there is a big fat consequence around it in a really big way. I don't care who you're, I don't care who the official is. Look, if somebody's breaking the true law and the true official, we go over that. Now we obviously have to respect, but if they're going to break the laws of the divine, we have an obligation to be led by the true law of love and kindness. And somebody's being bullied and abused. We have uh, an obligation, people, to get up and bombard the heavens. As Job's already heard, he's getting up. He's been watching it for a while. The tower represents his eye, and he's going to bring this down because he's saying so. Okay. We also have um, shave and going around the head. So you deal. Oftentimes we get somebody who is uh, cuts hair or something like that. We've been getting the, the shears coming out here. You're dealing with somebody who has, is on a farm or something like that. Something could have happened. Also, we got water out here. There's a dolphin out here. So something could have happened by the ocean. Uh, or we got the alligator here. You know, something happened in the marsh. Or that also can go back to uh, United States of America as well. Um, and somebody just been bullied really bad. So we've got another rap. That's, in a, that's interesting. Um we got something that's wrapped around an official here, and then we've also got a wrap being around uh, the body or a piece of cloth is here as well. But we've got a, the word shave, okay? So whatever that means for you, it's just coming out. It's at the bottom of the deck. I bring it out here. But you need to stop trying to appease somebody that you could never appease. There ain't enough money to appease this person. They're in fantasy la-la land. Uh, they're a control freak, and um, that, that they're empty on the inside. Unless this person could have an awakening from the divine, if they're already seared, they're seared. You need to move away and let the divine move, move them out of the way so that you can continue on. Because there is luck here, but it's going to take truth that's going to set you free, okay, from this debauchery. Stop hanging on to the wealth because that ain't going to save you. 
Yehovah is our reward. Until next time, Shalom.